Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super fun because we are unbagging some Disney face masks. I can't believe I'm making a mask video on my channel, but I wanted to kind of spread the word, make sure everyone is reminded to please wear a mask during this time. It's very important. I just wanted to have some fun with it. I guess that's pretty much it for this intro. Let's just get on to unbagging. So the first pack I'm going to unbag is the Toy Story collection. We pre-ordered these. So when we pre-ordered, we could only get sets. So they come in a pack of four. So basically you could not pick each individual mask that you want. You had to buy an entire pack. And I think one of us really wanted the forky one. I don't know if it was me or Valerie, but let's go ahead and see what these things are all about. I have heard that they are really small. So let's see, we got a little backing card here. I think that's to keep them like nice and straight. We have this really big long tag here and I don't know if you can like, I'm sure you can cut it out and stuff. So this is what the first mask in the pack looks like. It has all sorts of Toy Story characters. It looks like a bunch of toys and or Disney characters. There's a character on here that looks like Nemo. There's one on here that looks like Doug. There's one on here that looks like the bear from one of the movies. I don't even know, but there is also Buzz. So that makes sense. They are really tiny. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to put this one on so I can show you guys. Oh my gosh. This thing doesn't fit. Oh my gosh. This is like, <laughs> like it is so tight. I don't know if you guys can hear me. It's so tight that it's like pulling my ears forward. <laughs> and it's so tight around my chin. Oh my gosh. It's so tight that like you can see my cheek is like poking out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so as you guys can see, these don't fit. I will continue on with the haul just to show you guys, but honestly, these are a total fail. These are the biggest waste of money ever. Ow, my ear. <laughs> I don't recommend purchasing this product, okay? I don't think they were that expensive and I think my mom got a discount because she works at Disney. Oh my gosh, I'm just still so shocked. Okay, moving on. Next up, we have a Mike Wazowski big eyeball. I'm not going to be trying the rest on because as you guys know and could see how they fit, um, they're really tight. So this is the Mike Wazowski mask and it just has the big eyeball. Oh, I think I was holding it upside down. It's supposed to go like this. The next mask is a bunch of characters. So there's Woody, there's the little green alien, there is the dinosaur, there is Buzz Lightyear, and then there's some Incredibles, there's some cars, and there's a little guy from Up. This is what this mask looks like. I don't know who is supposed to wear these. Maybe these are made for children. The next mask is why we even purchased this pack pretty much, but it is the one and only Forky and he looks so confused. I love Forky so much. He's probably one of my favorite characters now, but this is what this mask looks like and I'm so sad that I can't really wear it. Oh my gosh. So tight, so tight. Moving on, the next pack we purchased was the traditional Mickey Mouse pack. And this just has like Mickey Mouse and like the classic characters, I think, or it's just Mickey Mouse. So opening this one up, we have this little backer card. So the first one is pretty cool. It's just Mickey Mouse. It has the traditional colors. So red, yellow, black, and white, very classic. I love this pattern. This is what the first one looks like. Very traditional. I really like this one. This is probably the one that I wanted just because it's really traditional, very Disney-esque. The next one is the one that Sherry wanted and the reason why we actually got this pack. It is my favorite one as well, probably even more so than the one I just showed you. It is black and white Minnie Mouse and there's nothing, there's no color on it. This is what the black and white mask looks like. Super cute and I really like this pattern. I could see them make a little Dooney and Burke bag out of this pattern and I think it would be so cute. The next mask is this red one. It has Minnie Mouse in squares and then the background is polka dots. Um, pretty simple, still same color scheme as the other 
mask that I showed you, the first one, but there's no yellow. It's just the red, black, and white. And the last and final mask I'm going to share with you guys is this blue one. It just has Mickey Mouse all over it, and it's just blue. It's just this navy blue mask, and I really, really like it. It's very um, Sea Cruise-esque. I don't know. I just think of navy blue and white being like cruise ship. I don't know. I associate it with being on a boat. So in conclusion, these masks are a waste of money. If you have toddlers slash kids, I highly recommend them, but they are a no-go. I highly dislike them. I don't recommend them. I think they're made okay. The material is quite thick, but my favorite mask patterns is the black and white version, the navy blue pattern. And of course, we gotta throw Forky in there because Forky is one of my favorites. So these are definitely my three favorites out of all the masks we purchased. This is super random. And if you've made it this far in the video, comment a purple heart because it's super random. And I just wanted to throw this in here really fast. But I also got these Gymshark leggings and they're so cute. I really like them. Um, I'm gonna make a whole entire video about my experience with Gymshark. Let me just say FedEx lost my package, but Gymshark has amazing customer service. So I just want to throw that in there because it is something new I purchased. I ordered the matching top not too long ago because they were out of stock and I had to wait. So I haven't even tried these. I'm dying to try them, but I've taken a couple photos in them and they're really cute. So I just wanted to share those with you just as a little teaser for an upcoming video. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Sorry about the lighting changes. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.